when I got inaugurated in January of 2019, the first week on the job, March of Dimes came and gave a presentation to women legislators. I learned that black women were dying three to five times the rate of white women before, during, and after birth. I was shocked. As I walked out of the room, I was in tears. And that has led me on a journey to really understand not only the state of black maternal health here in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, but around the country. We know that there are huge disparities in outcomes for black birthers in this country. And those disparities have persisted over decades, despite many advances in other areas. I've had patients or their family members come into prenatal appointments and say, I've been hearing about these stories in the press. I'm worried I might die. What will you do to keep me safe? And that's the reason for the focus of the BESIDE program. The program is an investment by the HPC that matches doulas with black birthing people. A doula is a trained, educated birth supporter. Doulas often form a connection with patients before their actual birth and do a lot of support, advocacy, and education. They help bridge a divide that often exists between patients and healthcare system that they're unfamiliar with and maybe are mistrustful of. The reason that this is happening is due to medical racism. The B-Side program centers racial equity, making sure that clinics, providers, doulas, and the birthing people have a mutual respect and understanding for each other. What we found is that there's lots of challenges, implicit and explicit biases, centering on racial equity and having culturally competent doulas who speak the language, who understand uh, the lives of these birthing people is critically important. We started with 30 women of color, and we followed them through pregnancy, labor, birth, and postpartum. A lot of times for women of color, we feel like we're never being heard or listened to. So it's important for us to support our client to be able to speak up if there's something wrong, or to be able to speak up if they feel like they didn't understand what their healthcare provider said. So just that clarity between both is important. We support the mom to be able to empower herself to speak up. When I went to my appointment, the doctor asked me if I wanted to be a part of the doula program. I honestly didn't have that much knowledge before, but I was interested and I was ready to learn about them. DeAndre was lovely to work with. She was just amazing, amazing strong mom. I'm glad she opened herself up to having a doula. Pregnancy can be a roller coaster and labor can be the same way. I was 23 weeks and one day, I started having like really bad pain and I went to the doctor and I never left. <laughs> I went to the hospital and I never went home. I had placental eruption. There was a possibility that my children were gonna be born at 23 weeks and there was a possibility that they were not gonna survive. So all that time being in the hospital was just, are my babies gonna make it, are my babies gonna make it? And nobody knew. There were some unknown things happening in her pregnancy, so it was nice to be there to just listen to her and support her. I think that really helped her to be able to relax a little bit or um, lessen her stress and anxiety. Having a doula helped. She called me, she texted me, she visited me. It was easier talking to her than it was talking to some of my family because she had been through situations like that and I didn't know what to expect. Every week was a milestone. I went in for a scheduled C-section at 35 weeks and Laconia came and she stayed by my side. And when the babies went to the NICU, she stayed with me while my partner went up to the NICU um, with our kids. She made me feel so comfortable and so safe during that time and I really appreciated it. Every hospital needs a doula program. Any program that seeks to improve the experience and reduce disparities in outcome for black women is a good investment and one of our highest priorities in terms of making sure that everyone is getting the best care they possibly can. Black and brown birthing people are the ones who are suffering the most and we should center them. We're focusing on improving outcomes for everyone through impacting those that are most impacted. I wanted to do that in general, but her being of the same racial background was a plus. We're not heard as often. So her being there for that emotional support and 
to make sure that I'm receiving the, the proper care that I, that I need. I can't even think about being pregnant right now and everything going on in the news, social media, talking about black women are dying at a high rate, our infants are dying at a high rate. That's scary. What I tell my clients is we're gonna be supported and grow a supportive team during that time so they're not feeling that and carrying that as they're going into the hospital to give birth. We want babies to survive, we want birthing people to survive. We also want to make sure that we have the BESIDE program actually in every hospital in the Commonwealth. And so we have a lot more work to do and I don't want to keep our feet off the gas. Massachusetts has always been a leader. The way that Massachusetts goes, so goes the nation. Through innovation, we can really address the maternal inequity crisis.